call to order the April 13th meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board. Uh, first okay. on the agenda this evening is the town meeting presentation with members of the Master Plan Advisory Committee, several of whom are with us this evening. Um, Carol, I'll defer to you to get things sure. off the path. Here. Okay. Uh, I drafted a um, PowerPoint of some slides for the boards and the committee's consideration for the presentation on Article 46, Town Meeting Board Article 46, the endorsement of the master plan. Uh, the board, the committee rather, saw a version of this and at their last meeting um, made some suggestions and I made a couple minor changes. So you, you have a copy, if you don't have a copy actually, um, I got one. Okay. Anyone in the um, room need a copy of the slides to work from? <coughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Yes, I did. There are lots. Yeah. And so a second version went out, and this is I consider this a rough draft. Um, so any uh, any ideas, thoughts, changes, anything that you'd like to see less of, more of, we can do that. I did get some comments um, from a member of the committee who saw the revised version. Um, so what I'd like to do is to go through those and see how the board feels about those. Um, thank you, Anne LaRoyer, for giving these to me. Uh, so on slide three, and these are numbered, slide three is the town <coughs> disc, it's the picture of town disc. Um, suggested that we mention that the ARB has already adopted the plan. Um, I think it was um, someone else thought that we might want to save that for the end, but it does seem like an important point because otherwise town meeting might infer that we're asking them to adopt the plan and it's already been adopted. So I think I will um, make that change to the slide unless there's any. Uh, and I, it's okay if we yeah, jump in. So, so I think I think a good place for it might be right before that, um, mm -hmm. uh, right before that last line, where you could say, uh, I don't know, something to the effect of, um, uh, given uh, the redevelopment board's adoption of the um, of the plan already, or mm -hmm. or something, something somewhat like that. Um, it just has more of a perfunctory given that we have now a <coughs> or something like that. And then later on, you can kind of explain it a little bit more. Well, right before that last sentence on slide three, where it says that we asked for your endorsement of the adopted master plan, my thought is maybe we could put a sentence in before that and yep. say, you know, pursuant to MGL chapter yeah. 41, section 81D, the uh, ARB adopted the master plan on February Actually, that's a better idea. Yeah, but I think that's the spot for it. Yep. And then that sort of flows into that concluding, yeah. concluding sentence that we're asking for your endorsement right. of the adopted master plan. Okay. Well, but if you say that, should you then also say, and I'm paraphrasing, but which means that it is the master plan of the town. Of the town, of this town. Yeah. It, it, it say that, says that later on. It does. Okay, so yeah, let's go. I think there it does say later on, but it's important to say. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you're right. Don't rub their nose. Yeah, I think you, it, it's okay. another point to be made later on where you're talking about implementation. And mm -hmm. So for this one, because it's more of an introduction that we've adopted it, maybe you don't cite the actual statute. Yeah, yeah you, you could just say, say, say it's like a mass law. Yeah, it's a mass law. adopted this master law. It has adopted this master law. And town has for your endorsement. In February, the, yeah. you know, make it active yeah. until in February. Later. Yeah, but you can skip the chapter and verse because that sounds clunky. It does, you know, Espe especially up here where you're just trying to yeah. get it all up. And these notes are what you're saying or whoever's presenting is presenting. saying. Right. That's not the slide, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Oh, it's not going to be up on the slide? It will be spoken. Yeah, not which is the better it. way. So yeah. people can yeah. There are a couple text-heavy slides towards the end that we'll have to do some surgery on because it's too much text on yeah. my threshold. I mm -hmm. crossed yeah, the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's rude to ask people to read a slide while someone's talking. So that's what we'll do with slide three. Okay. Um, 
Anne also observed that uh, we now don't have anything on the first slide except on to the master plan, which I think. Isn't that just an introduction of the person? It mentioned? is. Okay. That, that will be up while right. we're kind of getting to and introducing. getting up to the podium and introducing. We could add something like you know Article 46 or yes vote endorse Article 46, or we could leave it. Um, I might put the article Article 46. Yeah, just That's benign. that on top of it. Arlington 46, Arlington Master Plan endorsement or endorse Arlington Master Plan. Okay. Mm. All right, yeah. so Article 46, and then the next I would say endorse Arlington Master Plan. Any concerns about that? Okay. On slide five, there was a suggestion that we add um, the Arlington Master Plan addresses seven different but interrelated elements and then go into the list. I had a reaction to something on five. And because I thought this type was going to be there where it said land use, transportation, housing, and then that picture on the upper left, I don't know why, but I just said, well, I'm not developing public park. Yeah. It just hit me. I don't know why. So so just to the comment that we put in before that, though, there's more than seven that I count. The two other elements, one Sorry. is... Um, one of the elements of the master plan are the goals and vision, and the other is the implementation. No, if I just say land use, transportation, house, unless housing, economic development, I mean, I'm up to eight at least. Um, one, two, three, four, four on that one. Five, six. Oh, okay, so historic and culture. Okay, sorry. That's, that's, that's a single. Natural element. resources and open space is one. Okay, sorry. My yes, bad. Got it. Groups. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, back to Andrew's point, which, which I agree with. Seven? It is seven. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to put seven? Addresses seven. Yeah, that's different, but they're related elements. Yeah, that's good. Gotcha, sorry, that's good. But I agree with Andy's point. I don't know why that jumped out. It appears as though we're developing open space by having that picture. Uh, it's, I don't know. It's just weird because I, that hit me because I saw the, I saw the word land use and I looked right at that. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't put one of the industrial. So I wanted to switch it out with something else that's. Yeah, do you have uh, something Even though it is now? appropriate. I mean, it's not that logical because obviously you're addressing we can preservation. Put, of yeah, something down we'll, at Gold's What we'll do is move, um, well, no. Because it does say open space. Yeah, yeah that's under natural resources, mm -hmm. open space. Yeah. But, but land use doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. mean uh, parks or... or Forest or anything like that. It could be physical development. It doesn't necessarily, but I think I, I could see other people saying, saying what Andy yeah. has here, where they're saying land use and you see public space. Right. Yeah. Just I change it out. Putting one of the historic picture. resources there, like the Indian sculpture of uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uncle Sam. Yeah, yeah, Uncle yeah. Sam. Oh, yeah, Uncle actually, Sam. that's good. Or Uncle Sam. Oh, just, yeah. just switch it out. <laughs> Well, yeah, because that's big on the economic development side, too. So they, if we put this um, Cyrus Dallin uh, sculpture in, people won't think we're going to be developing right. that. Right. No. That's no. icon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. That's, that's this something. is Cook's Hollow, but no one can really tell. Right. Cook's Hollow Sam might be the same. Yeah. Not this one. Just that one. And then the next page, you do have a nice treescape, which is and, and also the resume. Uncle Sam isn't the land use, so I, I don't really want to use something that isn't a land use, like the, what the other ones are. But it's <coughs> the sculpture is part of the garden. I, I'm sure we can, I, I could fix that and get that Cook's Hollow picture um, out of there and put something else in that suitable and get Hollow somewhere else. There was a sense that we needed more green, so I, I don't want to lose it completely. We'll mean. find a place for it. Oh, we'll on the next page of the other thing. <coughs>
<laughs> so on page uh, slide 11, and so implementing many aspects of the Arlington Master Plan will require town meeting action. And then she'd like us to add, which makes sense, as is the case now for issues such as zoning, budgeting, capital planning, and many other town commitments. Endorsement of this master plan, of this plan signals town meetings support of the overriding vision and countless efforts to which. That would replace So instead of saying the Arlington Master Plan is not a zoning bylaw change, is not a capital improvement no, no, no. program, it's more. Oh, no, I would leave that. It just, it just kind of elaborated on the first couple of lines of that section. Okay, so this would be an addition. Okay. So it's. So would that follow at the end of the paragraph on pe page no. eleven? It's right no, after. it would just replace the first couple of sentences, or the okay. first couple of lines. It's just a somewhat change of wording. We're trying to make it a little stronger. Okay. Sorry. Great. Before you do that, so um, so I had a similar thought with respect to these two lines, and, and that is to implement much of the Arlington Master Plan will require returning regularly to town meeting and um, because it says will require returning regularly to town meeting, it does it say, and, and will require, you know, town meetings approval of all budgetary and zoning items. Right. I mean, I think we need to specifically call out that every item that's going to cost us money or that's, you know, going to change any zoning bylaw is going to come before town meeting. I think we have to be perfectly clear on that. Point. I agree. I would even underline that. Yeah. I bold it. Well, this text won't be seen by town meeting members. This no, 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 no. I'm saying that's five. that's what people, that's whoever the presenter oh. is should, well, should stress point that out. Read that. Read that. Read that. Right, but it won't be a matter of put it in bold. Well, I think Sherry was just saying so that the person size. shouts it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> right, so it's stressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Because that okay. will be the first objection. So, like you said, and will well, require town well, meeting's approval of all the I think Ian has it maybe, maybe more elegantly yeah. yeah. than I do. but it's uh, just worded a little bit differently. But I think I'd make it, what I was saying is I think I'd punch it up even a little bit. A little so bit more. Using what Andy did, think about what he said, just rephrase. Well, I, I just want to copy down. Sure. Just the last word was zoning, correct? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think you want to say any item that requires money or zoning changes will be coming before you. Either through. As it does now. That, that's the point. Is that nothing has that, changed about in that regard because that was the part of the point I, I thought was important that they understand that those things are going to continue to happen mm -hmm. as they do now. Okay. Yeah, and I think I think you could say you could make the specific statement and say just as as has to happen now or something like that. In other words. Mm -hmm. Okay, and on Car slide. Carol, I have a yeah. question on. Oh, and I didn't see this anywhere. Any mention of a implementation committee? And the question is, the implementation committee is definitely going to be formed, and should we allude to that? And would there be town yeah, meeting sure. members who would be appointed to the implementation I'm recommending committee? that there be town meeting members mm -hmm. on the implementation committee. Right. Where mm -hmm. is a good place for that? This slide? Yeah, it's implementation. Mm -hmm. I think you've got a lot of text right yeah. there already. So we may have to mm -hmm. break it up. We need another slide. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a deliberation of committee or public committees. Or next step. Well, it's, on, it's kind of on page 13, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Could you talk yeah. About the implementation? But they could be right. elaborated, perhaps. Okay. Yeah. It seems to me that the slide that's on. Uh, 11 really belongs on 
with the text on page 10. So instead of the, having a, um, a slide that's just text, show the World Cafe and the vision and values workshop and any other slides that you had have of the process going forward. And then on 11, you need something more like a town meeting type of slide. Mm -hmm. um, and that would yeah. show a picture. Yeah. Can you believe none of us have a picture of town meeting? <laughs> I took one last year and it was lousy and now I can't find it. Oh. <laughs> and I asked her. The, uh, the outfit maybe have yeah, one? Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, uh, yeah. Or ACMI. I don't know if I could give us a still. Go, go across the street and take a picture of John. <laughs> <laughs> Or even the outside of town hall. You right, I was thinking that. Yeah, yeah we do actually, have lots of that's, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Or even the empty chamber. Or even the empty chamber. The empty chamber. And I, so town hall photo would be on uh, for 11. For 11, and the current slide that's on 11 would go to 10. And then you don't have to have all that stuff on the milestones at all. Someone yeah. asked for a slide on, on milestones, but I would I just like I would just say you know yeah. Yeah. you got it. But also, it's going to be very difficult to read to yeah. in the audience yeah. because you've got a lot of text on right. there. So uh, I don't think you um, need it. Yeah, I mean, what you could do is you could put a little bit more on this slide, make the, the like not put the words along with the pictures, mm -hmm. and simply kind of. Put dates or some, you know, in a more yeah. graphic, kind of, in a more graphic way, um, and um, you know, even say something like, you know, twenty-five um, uh, impact meetings, you know, or something just more graphically, uh, um, X zoning workshops, or you know, it just kind of just put pure numbers on there a little bit more graphically. Get crowded up. You try to get all these no, 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 and I'm saying don't do it that way. Just kind of like do bubbles with a few different things, maybe like four or five bubbles. It's like a range of dates or something. Yeah, or numbers of meetings or, so, you know, something just kind of summarizing. summarizing it, yeah, in a more graphical way. So the implementation discussion is going on page, uh, slide 13, correct, about the implementation committee? Yeah. I, uh, so, so who comes back to town meeting with requests for funding? For I guess it's the different players who. It depends on who's the lead for it. Right. Right. So, in, okay. If it's zoning, it would be the development board. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to think of whether you could put it in the con in the implementation committee in the context of that a little bit, but like I don't think that works. Right. Would be tacked, right. Tacked, I wonder if, if Charlie's idea of including an additional slide in there to go into the implementation phase is a good idea. Show the buy-in that people will have and the work that remains to be done to come back before we can come back to that meeting. Yeah, and, and isn't the implementation committee going to work with those different? Boards and commissions. So, I mean, maybe that's how you present it as well. And, you know, the implementation committee is working with the different boards and commission. The, the relevant board and commission will, mm -hmm. you know, craft things to then bring back to town meeting. Mm -hmm. so, okay. I don't know. So. I think a, an extra slide is, um, I think we can do an extra slide. This is 46, right? So we'll actually. So on page, on slide 12, we, we need to kind of beef up this, um, what happens if town meeting fails to endorse the Arlington Master Plan. Uh, there's this word disappointed, which may not be the right word. You know, maybe we could say um, it may be unfortunate or it's, that the fact is that it's, it's a missed opportunity if we don't get the, the endorsement. Um, I think you say that then. Yeah. Uh, we believe we believe that it's a missed opportunity. Yeah. That it would be more successful yeah. mm -hmm. if we have yours. I think it's a kind of a red flag to say the plan would be implemented as intended. Ye yeah. 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 I'm like, I, I get yeah. nervous that when I hear that. But that's true. Um, it is true. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I think it's not true. But that, but it doesn't mean that it won't get their hackles up. 
How can we say it? I, I guess yeah. I'm going to need help yeah. letting them know what's going to happen because it will be implemented. Was that the place to put in pursuant to the law to say that this is the law, this is not something we're right. doing, right. it's the law. Mm -hmm. So that might be a good place mm -hmm. to put that. Right, pursuant that to what Bruce said before. But that also might be a lead into the implementation committee to say, you know, we're going to do some things that are not going to be in compliance with the So, um, however, the plan would be implemented consistent with state law. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, I mean, maybe you just tone it down a little bit by saying working with the implementation. Um, yeah, I need to think about that. I think, I think you can soften it just a, a little bit from the implementation committee would do its work. <laughs> Um, I have um, a comment or qu and or question. I don't know on page 12 if any change has been made with the first two lines, but I, I think that that's a little confusing. Town meeting members have asked whether a yes vote binds town meeting to future yes votes to implement the plan. First of all, they would be future yes votes to implement parts of the plan, elements of the plan. Um, particular recommendations. Yeah, specific um, yeah, or like, specific ones because however many are yeah, coming. Yeah, specific recommendations found in this plan, kind of Because that's even better because that, that kind of tells you you can choose You yes can yes no on for, one and you can say no on another exactly. one. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, two different pieces. Yeah, two different elements of the plan as they come before. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So this part where it says the volunteers, et cetera, who created your own master plan would be disappointed. Mm. I think you would get rid of all of that yeah. and simply yeah. say... Um, uh, and that the plan would be implemented consistently. I, I, think, I think actually, no, I, I, think, oh, 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 I think you get rid of that whole thing. And what you yeah, say is um, it, it would be a missed opportunity. And you can even say uh, because with town meeting support, we send the strongest message to the mm -hmm. state grant makers. So you, I think I think what you do is you go get rid of that whole sentence with respect to. So maybe you have. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but yeah, no, 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 go. We, we skip uh, delete that second big sentence, sentence, or that yeah. long sentence there. Um, you could then just pick up with the following sentence: Arlington will still have the benefits of having adopted a master plan, but it would be a missed opportunity. With town oh, yeah. support, mm -hmm. right. we send this and strike. However, we send the strongest message, etc. I, I think that's perfect. I think all you do is need to you, you need to lose that one sentence. <clears throat> okay, so we go from the question to with town meeting support. No, you go. You, you do yeah. keep oh, it. Arlington, Arlington will Arlington still have still the benefits, have benefits of having having adopted, adopted a master plan. plan. With town meeting support, I would but delete. It would be however, a opportunity. Uh, however, it would be a, a, a missed opportunity that. because with town meeting support, we send the strongest message. Yeah, I like that. Do you think we need to explain um, why we're defending our neighborhoods from future change? I mean, I, I, I understand we're defending it from future change that would not be good for the town, but just, you know, our, yeah, I don't know, defend yeah, kind of, defend def our neighborhoods. That's, that's kind of little, feels yeah, yeah, we like, will have, yeah. I think it's, I think we will. We even need to have the last sentence, I guess, is the question. Mm -hmm. You the second to last sentence? Oh, the second to last sentence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can strike that. Yeah. Well, instead of defending us enhance. hands. Um, or for support. Support. Yeah. I think um, it's good to point out that this is a plan by the community, not just something we're, you know, pushing forward because we spent all this time on it. Yeah, right, but I, I'm not sure this sentence 
With town meeting Echoes support, that. we made better support. With town meetings endorsement, we may better support our neighborhoods and business district in the face of future change. I don't like it in the face of future change. I don't change. like it either. It sounds like coming. something really yeah, bad is coming. It is what it is. And, and, uh, um, That's the whole point. What about saying undesirable change? Because yeah. oh, yeah, that's so, you know, loaded. What you think is so of as undesirable yeah, isn't what I think yeah. is undesirable. Town meetings endorsement may better, ensure, better ensure. I like pavement. That our neighborhoods and business I districts. Like the I like striking the sentence. Having a nice strong ending will yeah. be stronger with the United Policy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Or you and, and, and there's a lot of words here too, so you don't. Striking sentences is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't need them. Because okay. you know they're going to get so on, a little fatigued. On the the text slides, we said we we're going to get rid of milestones, right? Yep. Okay. So are we deleting that sentence? But you're going to move over the slide, which is now on page 11 to page 10, and then you're going to put in a town hall type activity on page 11, which we talked through what that could be, but in worst case, it could be a picture of the outside of town hall. It could be the bar mitzvah from Saturday night. Right. <laughs> so this um, last Cert bar slide, slide. Uh, page 13, you know do you want no, that's six. Where's, where's the additional one going? That's the implementation committee slide would have to go after slide 11, I believe. Part 12. No. Right. Isn't that right? The implementation committee. Yeah. So you're saying it goes before this town meeting members of that sort of yes vote? Or it goes after that. I think. It goes yeah. before that, I think. Really? Yeah. Yes, because you talked about implementing the correct okay. And then this one that we just um, worked right. on is right. becomes 13. Yes. Yeah. And then, then the last one's 14. So this yes vote town meeting slide that says endorses Joe Curo advised that we make it really clear what town meeting is being asked to vote on. This slide's very awkward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's a picture that's going to tell that story better, but... Uh, well, I think the words would help here. Is this what you're voting on? Well, will the um, endorsement text be handed out to everybody as a, a handout? I mean, won't they have that text? of the endorsement, all the therefores and whereby's and all that stuff. That's what they're voting on, isn't all it? All of the, it will be, it should be in all of the um, handouts because it was approved by the Board of Selectmen as mm -hmm. the recommended vote. So it should be in there. So that's in there. basically what they're <laughs> right. voting, isn't it? Yes. I don't even think the title makes sense. Uh, uh, I, think you could, so I think you could punch it up by simply saying endorses. Dash, you know, adoption of the mass one considers, or, or I don't know, you could make this a little bit more graphical and be okay. okay. I would go start it all with simple. verbs, participates, and, and just say vote yes in quotes to endorse the adoption if, of the master plan, yes, vote, you and then you're going to read this text and tie in the, well, the specifics. Because I think it's one of those things where a couple words on a slide is yeah. going to be really powerful, but it's. I, I I would go I would go less here. Mm. Or so yes, first you said vote yes, yes and vote quotes. Yes. Vote, vote yes and yes. quotes yes. to endorse yes. the adoption of the master plan. Yes. Just just simple. Yes. That's it. And then no. I, I totally agree. Just, it's too complicated if they have to parse three three sentences. <laughs> and I think you can hit the continue the open process and public participation in that new implementation committee uh, slide. So I think you can, um, I think you got the, I think you can toss the last two things, the um, actively participates in considering future and future action set and continues the open process, just in the text of the new implementation in that new slide 12 that you're talking about, or slide. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. yeah, slide 12. I think, I think those two concepts, mm -hmm. you can hit hard on the implementation committee uh, portion. So, what have you changed that last slide? I, I was yeah. just what yeah. The last slide would just say, "Vote yes 
in quotes, and then underneath it would say, to endorse the adoption of the Arlington Master Plan. Oh. Yeah. What, about, what about doing um, your yes vote will, one, endorse the adoption, two, consider it a living document, three, participate in considering future action steps, and four, continue the open process. I think we're thinking bing, about making it a little bing, bit more bing. powerful by getting rid of some of the points. Yeah, of Which you're already talking about, about yeah. quite a bit. I mean, the only thing is, it's vote. I, I think yes. I would say your yes vote will. Your yeah, yes vote is much more yeah. positive because you're, yes. you're so all yes. joining so together to vote yes. Vote, yes. Your yes vote will endorse. Right. Yeah. Will not endorse. Right? Oh, yes. The adoption yes. will endorse the adoption of the mass. And hopefully by then they'll, they will all understand what endorsing the adoption means. <laughs> Okay. And what no means. At some point, you might it want to it. refer them to look at the endorsement text. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. to mention, mm -hmm. you know, it's in your. Yeah, that should be whatever. actually, you know how we were saying what should be on the first on. slide? Yeah. The text the, that should be the text of the first slide. Just, to, that's just a so good they point. know that that's. And that exists already, and that's what they're... It's very long. Oh, no, I'm no, not no, saying you read, don't read it. You don't read it. it. You, you simply point them to it. So they you simply point them to it. When an article comes up, the town meeting has the vote in front of them, correct? Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah, they have the uh, the recommended the recommended vote, and it's then shown on the on the uh, but this is a overhead, right? Mm. It's a resolution. But that will but go away when this comes up. Mm -hmm. So they'll have to rely. Town meeting members will have to rely on the hard copy. Is this is this in the resolution though? Is this was this approved officially part of the yes. selections? The yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Board of Selectmen. Okay, so it's voted so this okay, so they already as their recommended vote. Well, I think what you, the other thing you could do. Now, I was going to say, on that last slide, you could actually put the recommended vote up there. And you know what I do, though? I would just take the, skip all the warehouses. Yeah. And just go, the recommended vote is, and then just do the three resolve. That's what this is. That's what that long, wordy slide is. Oh, but if you're going to do it then, just do it. Put the actual words up there. I think is what we're saying. Just so you know how you just said you just said that it's not going to be up there because right. because our presentation will be up there. <coughs> well, maybe maybe the last slide. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see what it looks like. Put it that way. It's going to be illegible. <laughs> it's in there. Well, it's be in the well, you can, you can put the slide, somewhere. the simplified slide, up that, that Bruce threw up, and then the last few lines in the presentation can be those mm -hmm. resolved. As a second slide? Not as a second slide, just the, the presenter will just read them off. I think that'll catch people. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, so let's talk about it for a second. So I think that's right. So you, you go with the simple simple slide, mm -hmm. and right here you've got that town meeting consider the Arlington Master Plan to be a living document, um, you know, to guide future, I mean, you've got it all right here. I think it's fine. Uh, being subject to regular review and updates as conditions warrant. Um, and we ask the town meeting look forward to active participation in future consideration of future actions. To take. So the, the what's spoken, it's it's there in the script. Yeah, there's no so reason for it to be up above, too. Okay. No, yeah. it's, it's so we'll there. stick with your yes vote. Really. Yes. Okay. I think um, if we if, do we have any other suggestions on the slide? If we, I, Oh, on this slide? On the slide? Any of the slides. The, the, the only other suggestion I had was um, on the um, on a, uh, slide four. You've got a summary of the master plan was sent to all town meeting members and to candidates uh, for town meeting. Um, the adopted master plan, which is two you know, whatever the number of pages is. Um, well, because I read this and it's like, well, why didn't you just provide it to us? Right, you, you you've got it all in here. It's like someone reading this isn't going to know the length and breadth of what the 
So where do you insert the I think you just say, you, uh, the second sentence, the adopted master plan okay. uh, with over X number of pages. More than. With more than, yeah. <laughs> or, or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can, um, sixteen maps, uh, you know, twenty-three um, uh, graphics. You know, just put put some of the put some of the put a couple stats in there just to kind of show people why you summarized it and why it's only available at the library. Well, that's a good idea. Why we didn't give them each a phone yeah, book? Yeah, exactly. Well, they are getting a phone book. Oh, they are. Being members are getting a phone book. Oh, they are. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. They're getting a, a top copy of, of the plan. The whole master plan. The whole plan. Oh, okay. Then I, I switch what I'm saying, and I would say instead of saying Is copies are on reserve at the library? Robbins Library, and say in addition to the copies that you received this evening or that you received during town meeting, <laughs> copies are also on reserve for the public. Okay. At I thought you were telling them where they had to go for. It. That was a plan at one time, but we managed to get the price better. Wow. Just flip that sentence around because it says available for town meeting members here in town hall or here at the meeting. Actually, that's the in our available. Oh, I see. In our available for town meeting members here in the town hall auditorium. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. They're probably I, I, going I to be distributed that. before. Um, right, and we're distributed. Have been made available yeah. before distributed. Yeah, I guess I would just. Yeah, I think you're right. Flip it around and, and just say, and copies for the public are on reserve. Now, if you have 250 copies of it on the table, <laughs> and you're better off putting it on the chair. On the chair. Put it on okay. the chair. Yeah, because people yeah. will take two. Uh, yeah, something. they will. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta put it on the chair. Because yeah. for some reason, that you only take what's on your chair. You feel yeah. guilty if you take it. Other people in there that don't belong and yeah, they pick disappear. Them up they disappear. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I have a question regarding the five-year revisit. We didn't mention it here. Is there anything that the redevelopment board both said about revisiting the plan on a five-year basis, or is that something? I don't know that we did, and I think that's a nuance that will be yeah. more confusing than in, anything else. It's implied. It's at least implied in the in, uh, the language of the vote because it, um, it's a living document subject to updates. Mm -hmm. Right. But nothing about five years. Right. Okay. No. That could come up as a question. I think that actually would be scarier. Yeah. Uh, uh, to some extent, mean, that wait, I gotta wait till I gotta, yeah. you know, right. it's I think the first time you're coming back is then, which isn't true as well. well. You know, I mean, we'll be coming back well before five years, and I think if you mention the five years, that's okay. what we'll be fixated on. Okay. So these are some good changes. Anything else? Any images to substitute? Any uh, besides what we already discussed? No, I I thought it seemed like the right length. It's and, uh, nice. That we yeah, do. it's good. I think it's a good. Yeah. Okay. Good. I think it's good to have some short slides just so you can cruise through and make, you make progress. Uh, if you just have long slides, I think. Uh, so people. we should talk a little bit about the choreography of the presentation as well. Um, the co-chairs of the Mass Plan Advisory Committee will be available. Um, Andrew is chairman. He's probably the right person to represent this to the to town meeting. Um, so the three people at the podium, plus myself, is that what you're talking about? This is the time, I think this is the last opportunity. I don't think we have, we have um, school vacation week next week, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, no, this is Article 46, be. though. So. Right, but the board isn't going to meet necessarily before town meeting starts. This might be your last meeting. So this is the occasion for, I think, plotting. The presentation? No, except that I think we will have a meeting before Article 46 because it's probably not going to come for okay. about four or five. So we might have that's yeah. four or five town meetings. That's what you're saying. So we could have the first meeting. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go that long. Yeah. Oh, is it a quick one? I, I haven't looked 46. at the article. Yeah. Well, I'm saying he thinks it's going to go three. That's there are only three. There are only nice. six articles that were brought by citizens. All yeah. the others are. It doesn't mean somebody won't fixate on. I 
wooden yeah, bark, you, but... Well, you're an optimist. <laughs> 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 okay, come on, man. But budget things like us often are postponed or, you know... Yeah, yeah, so it might, might end up being... I just bad. worry that all of a sudden no, I wasn't somebody will ask to move it. Or I think we should, so... You so should be ready. Shelly was the person who communicated the most with the town moderator. And we have seven minutes, correct? I haven't timed this out. Um, we can ask, I believe, I wish I had thought to bring the notes. We, I believe we can ask for 15, up to 15, with the bodies. I, I think if you can handle the seven, I would do it in the seven. Oh, and absolutely. Not ask for the, not ask for the extra time, because that in and of itself... I it's a, I understand. It can yeah. put people in the wrong frame of mind. Um, well, then you have to actually rehearse it, obviously, and know that it comes in well but, under the seven. But I think, well, I think one recommendation I'd have is I'm often, when, when I listen to things that come up, introductions can take two minutes. I would actually say don't do any introductions. Just, you know, or do the Real mere quick. cursory introductions. Mm -hmm. Move right in here. And if you end up with time at the end, say, I actually have some time left. Let me, I want to make sure that I, I you know, thank these these people or committees or whatever else is, mm -hmm. is how I would do it. But I'd, I'd get right in there and, and just get and going. I would say the fewer, fewer people. I, I think so, more. too. Will there be time uh, for, will it then open up to questions? Yes. Sure. Yes. That's even though, because even though it's a resolution, yes, because it's an article. It's Article Forty Six, so it's it's. Do you remember the, the the discussion about this on the committee? If we had done it as a report, yeah, or as a or as a resolution a under Article Three, I guess, right, or two. Right, a report of committees and commissions. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, there's that, and then. Uh, well, anyway, there should be an one, opportunity actually, for town meeting members to ask. Questions. Oh yes, mm -hmm. right. so that's why it was done as an article. Um, I'd like to get a sense of the board um, on who you expect to read the slides. Should we trade it off to? Uh, uh, I would. I would keep it. Just keep have it one Andrew. person. He's got a great voice. Okay. But um, then three people: Andrew, you, and a member of the committee. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just. I'm just throwing that out there as a start. I don't know if you want an army up uh, there. It's, no. No, no. It's I think two. One, yeah, maybe just one person. I think one I, person, and then well, someone's clicking. Maybe right? Andrew could start, and Charlie could do part of it, or something like maybe. that. But, mm -hmm. but then Carol would be available for answering questions, you know. But rather I than actually think presenting Carol should do it. it. Yeah, or does Carol do it just from the perspective of? Well, that would be the other familiarity. I would. But that would be my vote. Isn't it an ARB? Carol, I mean, Carol reads the whole thing. Well, the board. It's, it's, it's the board's board. It's yeah. yeah. So that was my first go. Okay. I feel that way too, and I don't mean to put it on you, but yeah. I think your delivery and your your tone and the gracefulness, you, I just think wow. it should come. Checks in the mail, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying, any, I'm not saying what's saying not true. I mean, and I've sat in yeah, town so, meeting so, so for 18 years listening, and I think. We, we well, that's the put it yeah, out the policy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to yeah. Yeah. I have no, I have serve it your no pleasure. Problem with that. So I think one should say it again. My opinion is just it should be a member of the board that presents it, and, and coming from volunteers and not town staff. I think that's important to, to sell it that way to town meeting. I think that town meeting would receive yeah. that well because they're so. volunteers. I'd be happy to speak to anything. Mm -hmm. I think having you up there to answer, answer questions, questions yeah. is hugely important. But I think the delivery of the presentation should come from the, I, from I the think, board. Yeah. And, and I think that's probably the way to do it. And then, at the end, as I said, you could say, we have... You know, Carol Kowalski, mm -hmm. you know, Charlie, and and, and 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 everybody else, or whoever the right people are. I'm sorry, I'm not sure exactly who's um, uh, chairs. Uh, but uh, you know, here to answer questions mm -hmm. as well as you know, members of the board, whatever. Right. You know, and I then you get your the then you get your introductions, and you know, kind of. Right. And then you you're right. You get your introductions at the end, and your thanks at the end, and then right. If there's time for questions, and the right people to answer those questions are there, but not taking up time. Yeah. Of the presentation. So what I'll do is make these changes, then I can get these back out to the board and the committee, and then maybe we can meet to kind of time out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, I think that's what you want to do. Idea. It's really hard to, to time out something when you're doing it by yourself, so I'd be happy to do that mm -hmm. so that 
I can change the slides and it'll be more like a real quick Do you stand, stand up there or? Yeah. Yeah, I thought three people was, you know, one, one, Charlie, you. I can change the slides. Well, oh, actually, um, it or might you be you think it should just be one person? I think one person. Just go up there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, so you'll get something out and you can, just me. you know, make minor edits yeah. and stuff and get them back and take them and leave them uh, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah no so you get them back to me and this is where it gets messy. So no, I know. People might um, have conflicting edits, but we can't edit, um, reply all the No, no, no. The, my point is more, I mean, it's in the end, it's Andrew's. So I think the way I would look at it is, is I would offer suggestions. Feel free to take them, don't take them, whatever else is, is how I would look at that. So. Very good. <laughs> so, could we just have a clarification again in terms of committee understanding? Andrew's going to make the presentation be about six to seven minutes. Mm -hmm. And then, who do you want standing there to help answer questions? Questions go through the redevelopment board. I think we'll ask that. Usually there's a row of yeah. seats. Yeah, you'll take on the first the right okay. first row right by us. Um, we'll get you some seats. You know where the redevelopment board usually mm -hmm. has their mm -hmm. table. Yeah. There's a row Off to the, right. the front row. We'll ask yeah. for School Carol, Spence, and Charlie Kalaskis to, and and I can be in that. Well, I'll be at the table. Um, so and Judy Barrett, if she's um, available, she said she would come. So we can be. They're ready to address mm -hmm. any questions yeah, that come up. Is that a good idea for Judy? It's a good Judy question. There? Um, <coughs> she has. It's in. A, it's in the contract. It's in the contract. There's the committee. A, has I think there's a lot of people out there who think that she pushed this. She pushed a lot of the answers in there, not hmm. necessarily the people on the committee and the people on the board. And I wonder if not having her there would be a benefit. I mean, the, the committee certainly can answer any questions that have come in through the work that they've done. You can answer any questions. The members of this board can. Um, I'm certainly not trying to say that you shouldn't be there, yeah. but I'm wondering if, if it would be a you know, better show to have her not there. Mm. Her value is providing answers to technical questions and answers mm. to questions about the state of the art of master planning in Massachusetts. You know, if a question arises like, what what do other communities do about X, Y, and Z, she's ready with the answer. Okay. Um, so that is some, that's value. I could easily see her coming and those questions not arising, so. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I wouldn't have her, uh, I, 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 I agree, I see what you're saying. Keeping her I see what you're ways. saying. I think, I think we should make every effort for uh, the chairs, uh, Carol, and Charlie, to, in yourself, Carol, or one of us to mm -hmm. answer, or Andrew, I should say, uh, to answer all to the, be questions. To answer the questions. Yeah. And only if yeah. some yeah. of those really more technical, technical questions, questions come, up. come up. I agree. I think that is that should be our first yeah. reflex. I think the, somebody is, well, depending, first of all, I guess my question is how many questions? I mean, how, how, what will the time period be? Well, that's up to you know. Will they come up? In a row, you know, standing at the mic or yeah, no, that's sure. logistics. It's just, it's just regular debate, right? So, so be just regularly calling on it's people. Just regular until someone moves. So it's a regular article. I can foresee somebody saying, "Well, how have you ever seen this in another town? How has it worked? Have you ever seen it five years down the road?" Kind of thing, and she was able to tell us about things like that. That's right. That's so I think so for that reason, she could so be reason, sitting right. there, she be and, sitting there to answer those but questions. but not have a role in it until it's needed. Right, exactly. She would be there to support with any technical information that the board or the committee isn't prepared to mm -hmm. answer. Mm -hmm. well, if she's even available. <laughs> in a way, it can look like a good thing. I mean, she's helped us with this, so she wants to see the oh, conclusion. Absolutely. But I'm with you. I wouldn't introduce her just if you need it to. Correct. Say, well, she happens to be here wondering. Yeah, right. you know, something like yeah that. I think that's the way to go. Okay. Good. Two weeks from tonight, it's town meeting. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Now it sounds doable. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen.
Thank you so much. Yeah, very much. Yeah, I want to say from the discussion of the, um, the guidelines. The design guidelines. Of course, the committee's welcome to stay. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not obligated either. So. <laughs> Next on our agenda is a design standards meeting plan with David Gamble. Please come on. Hi, David. Mike here. Good to see you. Good to see you. Not yet. Oh, no. Okay. I've heard a pretty earlier comment that when someone has something to read, they'll exactly read it. Exactly right. Yeah. See? All right. Position to yell myself, right? Right. Uh, so, uh, David Gamble, I'm an architect and an urban planner with Gamble Associates. We're based in Cambridge. We focus on urban design work and started about three weeks ago uh, working with Carol and Laura and her team uh, to get started on the design standards. We were also a sub-consultant with Judy Barrett on the master plan and as part of that scope had actually three roles. One, we did some development studies on some key redevelopment parcels along Mass Ave, which I believe most people haven't seen uh, other than the Master Planning Committee. So we were essentially testing out what the capacity of those sites would be, what some important urban design considerations would be relative to the feedback on the comprehensive plan, and uh, developed a sort of sense of what it might look like. Uh, the second thing we did was participate in the public meetings that we had, and then the third thing was a visual preference survey. So over the last couple of years, we've been in constant conversation with Judy and the team. And I think it's really important at the outset just to underscore the fact that these design standards are coming out of that process, that people understand that it's a natural extension of the comprehensive plan, and that it's also not necessary to have as much public input as was invested over the last couple of years. <laughs> so planning assignments often necessarily have to be fairly long in duration. This, by contrast, is actually pretty compressed, and I think it's a good thing. There's been a lot of feedback to date. I think we recognize that. We can summarize that. And the goal of the design standards should be to try to identify what the physical manifestation of those aspirations are and how they would relate to primarily the commercial corridors, so Mass Ave and Millbrook and the Minutemen. So uh, our role in the next really couple months is to work with the town staff and to try to come up with a series of design standards that are legible to property owners, to the layman, to the development community, uh, obviously to uh, anyone who's interested in what can happen, to try to convey through graphics primarily what are otherwise fairly difficult phraseology to interpret. Zoning is itself very complex and one of the things that the design standards can do is to make that just more accessible uh, and we focus a lot on that and also as part of this scope to look at a couple sites which may include one of the earlier ones to talk about the implications of the design standards and we were on the bus tour on Saturday and had a very good turnout again on the most beautiful day of the year and many of the people here were on that tour and visited for me, the, the Walgreens site near Spy Pond. Phenomenal redevelopment opportunity. Touches two of those three corridors. Uh, has really transformative potential if it were done right. So I feel that what we can do in the next couple months is reinforce those considerations in the master plan. Show how they come down to ground in a very physical way. And, if I may so, I think, educate the public about what are otherwise fairly difficult things to understand in terms of urban design. And by example, height. It's a very contentious issue, people are very concerned about it, but it's actually a very blunt tool to determine whether or not a development is actually fits in or not. There's lots of things you can do with height to make it better, more integrated, and that's one of the things the design standards would do would be to try to illuminate the complexity surrounding building height as it relates to relationship to a street, as it relates to topography, as it relates to adjoining abutters and properties, and uh, that's just one example. And so when we look at design standards, we look at very fundamental things. Massing, 
building height, the interface with the public realm, the relationship between the building and the street edge, issues of materiality, uh, issues of sustainability, which obviously are, uh, we should run through all of the aspects of the design standards, and try to, I guess, make these things a little bit more digestible. So uh, we feel, I think, well prepared, having gone through the master planning process and working with the committee. We have done some initial studies and we'll build on those uh, moving forward. I think people are, will be actually very interested in seeing what the implications of the standards are, because as much as we can try to visualize them, unless you actually choose a property, it still becomes a little bit arbitrary or uh, abstract. And so these um, studies, I think, will be really useful to, to test people's tolerance for, well, let's take that site uh, between you know, the Walgreens site. It's obviously functioning business. There's a desire to keep commercial activity in town. That's perfectly understandable. But if there's a desire to enhance connectivity to the, the town's natural assets, to have maybe some open space, to have a more active street frontage as opposed to a suburban prototype, there are trade-offs there. Uh, if you create open space corridors, it might require a certain greater density in certain locations of the, of the site. Uh, there is actually a grade change there that's very specific, and that could be capitalized upon to address issues of parking. There is a connection to the bikeway. Uh, there is obviously a desire to, particularly on that site, think about the relationship between East Arlington and Arlington Center as, an, as, a, as a bridge development site. So we're really excited. Uh, this is really what we do. We tend to work, what I like to say, is in this space of conflict. We feel comfortable negotiating um, positions like this where there's going to be strong opinions about development from abutters and from the resident, residents surrounding the site. There's obviously aspirations that the town has for redevelopment and the redevelopment board. So uh, we enjoy working in this space. I think it's perfect timing and I feel that not having this be a six month process can actually be beneficial. There's a certain amount of planning fatigue that can set in uh, in general and particularly as, as you go to town meeting in a couple of weeks, I think it would be really great to say, you know, one of the first major implementation steps is to get these standards out there so people know what to expect and, and we're, we're really excited about that. So we did do some initial national research on, in terms of design standards and guidelines and that's what that packet represents, so I guess we can, <laughs> and, uh, if you have any questions, I don't really expect you to, to read it, but, uh, or, you know, answer any questions immediately, but we're happy to, to, to do so. So essentially what we try to do is to canvas what's out there now, uh, what are the aspects of the design standards that are maybe applicable to Arlington, and uh, I don't, we don't expect you to read things on the right hand side, those are actually ex excerpts from the, uh, the individual city or town guidelines. But they, we think that they can be translated to, to what the town needs here. And the other thing I guess I would say, we don't want you to feel like what we're producing will just be an amalgamation of everything else out there. I feel like it's really important that people recognize in this visual preference survey, we really want to show local examples of issues of height or signage or relationship to street. And so we'll try to tailor it more specifically to, to the town's institutions and buildings. We hope that the product of this will provide the, this board and possibly the Zone Board of Appeals <coughs> with design guidelines even before the zoning bylaw is updated. Ideally, these would be 
um, graphic concepts that would be incorporated into a zoning update so that we won't have to use <coughs> words, we won't have to use words to describe these um, concepts of step back and, and height. So we can use graphics, which are easier uh, and briefer. Mm -hmm. that we looked at as part of the master plan was the Murex site, the Leinecke site, that's what I call mm -hmm. it, yeah. and at the gateway of the yeah. uh, East Carlington, yeah. and a site along Broadway in front of uh, Leone Park. Yeah, the playground. Yeah, the school. So we, we took a look at uh, assuming a certain density in a land use mix, what type of development could occur there in ways that foster relationships, connections to neighborhoods, included open space. It was interesting when you mentioned about the photograph of the park, fearing that people would interpret that we're suggesting new parks, and you know that may not be the right reading, but one of the aspects of the design guidelines should be to ensure that the park, this open space that is built as part of any development actually is meaningful, is activated, has a good relationship to the street, etc. Yeah, I think Andy was saying the opposite, which is that we're going to commercialize our yeah. current parks. Yeah. Not that we're going to have more yeah. parks. Yeah. More parks would, I think, people would like, but there's no place to put that. Mm -hmm. So, David, what are the next steps? I mean, so we're sort of drawing on some of the models that you, you've found across the country, and then is it, uh, tell me what happens next. Yeah, so we're, we're going to try to summarize the comments that came out of the tour. Mm -hmm. There were two walking tours, on, one on Mass Ave, one on Broadway, and then the bus tour. There's about three dozen people, which I think for our beautiful Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon was pretty good. I, I was impressed, and they stayed the whole day, you know, 10, we had 10 to 2, and uh, or 10 to noon and then 2 to 4. So we're going to summarize that. We're going to cross-reference it with the, the zoning inventory that Judy did as part of her analysis under the master plan and also cross-reference it with all the feedback we got from the three public meetings and try to distill a framework for the standards, something that uh, people can use to navigate through what the design standards represent. And we don't yet know what that means, but we do, we do like the idea that Millbrook, Mass Ave, and the bikeway have different characters, <laughs> might have different scales, have different relationships to the streets. So we're thinking, we, again, we haven't really gotten into it, but we're thinking that might be an interesting way to try to structure how one anticipates redevelopment and what those goals might be. Mm -hmm. So just food for thought, and again, we're very open to different structures, but that's kind of an interesting way to make it very place specific. I don't think we're going to expect um, David to rewrite the zoning, but to to in, to talk about how it integrates with the zoning. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> maybe will help us get launched on the rewriting of the zoning. Yeah, yeah. It should inform. Right? Right. Yeah, for example, and prioritize it. Yeah. You know, where we st which are the most important things that we need to do first. We just did some for Watertown, and we basically uh, feathered in the standards, which are different than the guidelines, the standards, the rule of law, the guidelines, the recommendations or the aspirations, we feathered it into their zoning bylaw in a way that was color-coded to the different topics that we established. So you guys are actually right where you should be, which is to say a lot of communities are moving away from 
use-based zoning to more form-based zoning. We think that these standards and guidelines can be a stepping stone to a more ambitious and maybe in some ways more painful effort uh, to go through of, of rewriting the zoning. And this is a very good, I think, first step towards that. So potentially what comes out of this would be illustrations that go into the zoning bylaw to show. Okay. Yeah. So a developer comes forward, she wants to know what can I do. There's some document, not the full thing, but there's some. Uh, we like to produce posters, something that's easily uh, discernible. You can get the snapshot of what's being rec recommended, and then, mm -hmm. then there's a, a, a bigger document. So we, we imagine some type of product, and we haven't spoken about what that exactly is, but something that can be um, synthesized into the basics. And then if you want to know the details, you can, you can go to those mm -hmm. more specific points. But does it get, eventually it gets put, like you said, feathered in, it becomes <coughs> part of the zoning code as an interim step. We have yet to determine whether we're going to be doing a single massive overhaul of the zone bylaw or doing um, incremental steps. Mm -hmm. um, that would be a very imminent decision. Um, I think once the implementation committee is formed, that, that's something that the, the implementation committee, the board, and the staff really have to try to wrestle with is how do we approach the, the zoning update? But to be more direct in answering your question, the these guidelines will be put to work right away. Whether it's to assist the boards who are already reviewing development changes. But it would I'm hopeful that we will ultimately see this work into the zoning update. I'd like to hear how that could happen. That sounds really interesting. As opposed Careful, to you'll be recruited. As opposed mm -hmm. to having to do a form-based code. Mm -hmm. It's so, you know, it's such a climb. It is, mm -hmm. yes. But if there was a way, I would you know, to, to somehow knit it together somehow. Well, well that, that is exactly the aspiration. If there's a set of design guidelines that are more uh, graphically oriented, that represent the aspirations of the master plan and that have a relationship to the zoning ordinance. Right. Mm -hmm. And I like to think of it as arthroscopic surgery versus open heart surgery. You, you start with that, you try to, to align them in terms of the language mainly and, and figure out where the pieces fit and use that as a stepping stone to you know, if something more invasive is needed, <laughs> uh, which it will be over time. But that, a form-based code would be a two-year effort, actually. And I don't know if there's tolerance you know, in the community to do something that, um, I don't want to say drastic, but it is a, bit, it is a heavy lift. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of communities are going that way, but it just it takes time. And it's good to get folks used to a, a certain language a little bit, too. Yeah. So good interim stuff. Can I pick up on your question, Bruce? Yep, please. J just keep going a little bit. So this is a great outline. I mean, fantastic, I think. It has a 14 points that summarize all those things that go into the actual physical fabric of what we might be saying. How will we, will, will we have a, a time to get into this in more detail with you? Um, how does that happen? Does it happen with the implementation committee? Or what's the process of uh, this board learning about this kind of stuff and being part of this? That's a better question for Carol. Uh, our scope is basically for the next two and a half months to begin to take what we know, what we've learned, what the community has said, try to translate that into a series of graphics that relate to those aspirations and to Arlington specifically. Uh, that, at that point, that would be a set of draft guidelines. I uh, saw we see that as a milestone in you know four to six weeks, essentially, maybe the end of May. And at that point, there'll be opportunities for feedback. Obviously, there's a lot of refinement. Um, you know, with with a fairly aggressive goal of trying to get something by the end of June. So the feedback's coming from the planning department right now. 
we're working at the moment, yes. But we would welcome your participation since this is your field. I mean, we, you're, you know more about it than we do, so. I'm just saying for the board to. Yeah, well, you definitely I think you would come back to the board one more time. We have, yeah, draft. that's written that's in there. Yeah, yeah. The but if you want to engage before that, let's talk about how we can do that well. Any iterations of the work that we get from David could go to the board as well. Maybe that's the way to go, and then we can have a comment because we can have our own mm -hmm. session on it and say, do we understand this? Do we have questions about that? I mean, even this document would be interesting to talk through a little bit and understand mm -hmm. how each case really relates to the subject. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any questions we have, we could discuss here with Carol, and maybe those get related to you. Or in the absence of a really aggressive public engagement process that deals specifically with the standards, I think having a, a direct uh, discussion about about the elements as it relates to, to the physical character of the town with you all is is really important. I, I think the community can't feel like these are being foisted upon them. There has to be some mm -hmm. some general sense that this is. Uh, you know, a collective aspiration and, and it relates to what's going on in the town, so. Great. Okay. That sounds perfect. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, thank, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to reading this more yeah. details. Yeah. Thanks, David. Okay. Did you get that? I did. I know. <laughs> and, you know, after six months of uh, sub-zero weather, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for the tour. <laughs> Sorry, we did that to you. That no, was beautiful. So the um, if anyone's uh, been here for these two items, you're perfectly free to head out. Don't feel like stick around. But there is one more item. Yes, Laura. Yes. So uh, on the agenda, it says housing <coughs> protection plan, but it's actually housing production <laughs> kind of different. Um, we applied for a grant for state funds about yeah, February, I would say, um, for a program where they will pay for a consultant to help you work on a housing production plan. A housing production plan is kind of a state of art. It's something that the state has laid out. This is what it is. Um, and it, it can help you kind of, it can help you get grants and um, it can help you with uh, comprehensive permit applications and stuff like that um, so we got we found out on Friday that we got it fifteen thousand dollars and um, we'll be hiring a consultant to help us but obviously we will be wanting to um, guide them um, and my thinking our thinking was that you guys would oversee it but have like a citizen review committee of some kind, and maybe one of you would sit on that review committee with like the Housing Corporation of Arlington, the Housing Authority, maybe the Council on Aging, maybe someone from the real estate community. Those were just my initial thoughts. Maybe you can spin some more ideas. Um, so the town did its last housing plan in 2005, and there was at that time an affordable housing task force that oversaw it, but that body is not active anymore. Um, just to say what a housing production plan is, um, there's basically three parts. The first part is a housing needs assessment, which is based on existing demographics, projections of future demographics, um, identifying the development constraints, which I would say in this town is that it's very built up, there's not a lot of vacant parcels, and there's not a lot of large parcels, a lot of very small parcels. Um, and the town's capacity for um, infrastructure to support more development. Um, then you set your affordable housing goals, um, taking into consideration the demographics and the other things in the first part. And then the last part is implementation strategies, um, which might include modifying the zoning, adding mixed use, increased height or density, accessory apartments would be some examples of strategies. Um, and then they ask you, finally, to identify specific sites appropriate for new housing. So it's a kind of a formula. Everybody who does it de um, answers those three or four questions. So, so it's, it's pretty much laid out for you. I see the consultant being the most helpful in terms of looking at our demographics. Um, I've, I'm not a specialist of census data. 
Um, and I think it, I think it's useful to really, and I, and I think honestly we haven't done a great job of that in the past. So um, that's one of the things I would look for in a consultant. Okay. Questions? Comments? I do just um, so. So what do you get after? So you do the housing production uh, uh, plan. And then that is well. It it helps you to kind. Of, it, it will help us to figure out again. It fit, it fits into the master plan in the sense okay. that it's um, it may lead to changes in zoning. Um, in terms of the the state, to meet I, the demands that are set out because yeah. you're you've got the sense of so it's it's about okay. It's about looking at your demographics and okay. the, and the future demographics. I mean, we, we have more. Aging. So this is not affordable. It's not. It's not specifically that. I mean, that's that's part of it. But aging, right, exactly. But, it's part of it, but it's not only that. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think you know that aging in place and all of that the um, that demographic shift has happened since we did our last plan. Mm -hmm. We didn't address that at all in the last one, and we don't address that now in our in terms of our housing policies, um, and also the increasing number of young families. And the impact that that's having on the schools, and, you know. So we things have changed in that ten-year period. Um, it can help you with um, a comprehensive permit proposal to be able to say to the state, "Look, we're not. It's not that we don't support affordable housing, but this is what we want to see happen, as opposed to what might be being proposed." It's not an ironclad thing that you can um, assume will get you out of anything, but it's something that the state wants us to do. So it's just kind of one more thing. Like It's the same thing that Carol was talking about before, where it puts you in a stronger position for getting more grants or for anything you need from the state, which we need stuff from the state all the time. So is that, you know, you can say, we're addressing our housing needs. We're not um, pulling up the gates. And, you know, mm -hmm. So I, I, maybe you want to think about if who would like to work with us on this. Do you, do you have a list yet of possible consultants? Um, well, in this case, the state has already approved a large number of consultants, so we don't have to do a full procurement. So I do have a few people that I know, mm -hmm. but um, I, haven't start, I haven't talked to anybody yet about it. And is there anybody else you think should be on the committee besides the people that I Could you review mentioned? for the board who you um, suggested? HCA, Housing Corporation of Arlington, Afford, uh, Arlington Housing Authority, Council on Aging, Real Estate Community, and um, ARB. And you? Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd be staff for the committee. And a consultant, too. So. And I'm hoping that we can start maybe the beginning of the summer and be done by the winter. You know, I don't see this being a long-term commitment. Um, oh, are you volunteering? <laughs> I saw that. I, I, I could try. 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 Great. Okay. Do, do they, can they, I guess the consultant covers, or who covers the emerging young, young population of Arlington that are? You mean on the, who would be on the committee to represent that community? Yeah. Maybe we need someone from the schools or someone who. I was wondering about that. Yeah. PTO. Yeah. PTO. Yeah. PTO. Yeah. PTO? yeah. yeah. Elementary, like a young a parent. Yeah, of I think That's so. a great idea. Yeah, you always need so much to run the PowerPoint and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's paying all the tech stuff. We need a high school yeah. kid. <laughs> Teenager. I just know where the on-off button is. Yeah. <laughs> Bring a 13-year-old consultant.
So when do you think, um, do you have any sense yet for the board on the milestones or when this will really start, when we'll roll up our sleeves, when the board will really engage? Probably the fall, the same time as everything else happens. <laughs> um, I think we'll have to get the committee going and the consultant hired. Those are the first two steps. And I'm hoping we can do those things by, say, the June something, maybe the beginning or the end of June. And then the consultant can be working during the summer because it's always hard to have meetings during the summer. And so then maybe by the fall, we can start on the content, you know, the, the meat of it. Okay. Like have one meeting before the summer and then one at the beginning of the fall or the end of the summer. And then we'll get, get to writing it. I mean, if there are any recommendations that come out of it, it would be good to be able to get those in front of town meeting next year rather than wait another whole year. There might not be a lot of things that would need to go to town meeting. Now. I wouldn't think, except for zoning. We're just starting to think about this. Yeah, it's, um, I think the time frame will work well with town meeting. Excellent. Great. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> I had two changes. One on the second page, the second, third sentence down, so Mr. West asked if the Uber property was amended at all. I would say the section regarding the Uber property was amended at all. And then where it says Mr. Bunnell said he appreciated McLennan Park is his seat. Okay. Does anybody know who is sitting here? These belong to him. Yeah. And that's an E instead of an A. Oh, David uh, Campbell. Campbell. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah, that's completely misspelled, so we'll correct that. Okay. But other than that, I thought you were great. I, I had nothing else. That's yeah, March 30th, 2015, for the Arlington Redevelopment Board. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. All right. I have a quick question. Can I return to the, the book church sure. for a yeah. second? To you, Carol. Can we, when you're ready? Okay. Because I. I I got the lay of the land a little bit from Bruce's question and my question. Can the board see any kind of scope document that would help us understand sure. what they think they're doing? The um, RFP and the proposal. Mm -hmm. I like that point. And then um, we can get fit in a little bit better so we understand sure. how it's working. It's so important, but I and I get the whole time frame and. But this will help us, I think, ask okay. the questions. I'll get um, the RFP and the proposal to you. Does it work fairly well for you when I put things in Dropbox? That's fine. Just right. to me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. All right. And then uh, eventually we can have the same from Laura because she'll, you know, that will help us figure out that that's down the line of it. I'll do the same for the um, housing production. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then strategizing my next few meetings. Mm -hmm. That comes out of timing. Meeting before town meeting. Yeah, we're doing the 27th of 
the hour before town meeting? Don't you? Is that the first night? Yeah. Yeah. So we meet here before. Yeah, for an hour and then head over. Yeah. Are we all set with our articles? Yeah. We've got no action. And the, the other, other one is the signs. The signs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your vote went, was forwarded to the selectman's office and it went out, or will go out to town meeting members. And our report's done? Yes, that was given to uh, the selectman's office and that ARB report will go into the packet that all town meeting members received. Mm -hmm. Did we, did we see the vote? Or was there an explanation on the science one? I, I wasn't here for the hearing, so I, I probably wouldn't have commented regardless. But and did we reflect it was a three hour vote? So? The, the report compiled your vote on the three articles. So that went into the standard report. Oh, right. We did see that. We did see that. We did see that. That's right. So we have. Oops. Did um, I received a note from Christian Klein inquiring about that? Did he get in touch with you on the uh, on the sign? He was wanting to say something about the sign or help us present. I saw okay. Christian Saturday. He went to all the tours. Yeah. Okay. This is the sponsor. He's a sponsor, and I said, well, yeah. typically what would happen is we'd present, and he'd be the first one whom the town moderator would typically recognize. recognize. Yeah. And I said, for him, you know, to check in with you, but my experience has been he should check in with John and let him know, mm -hmm. check in with the moderator and, and let him know that, you know, he's the sponsor and would like to be first on the list, which is typically provided to the person who sponsors. I'll call Christian just to just see Just say, why don't you just to make sure, yeah, yeah I just want to. He hadn't CC'd you on it, so I just kind of give him what I perceived as the lay of the land, and, but asked him to check in with you or the moderator. So maybe he checked in with so This is mostly in preparing for how to present, Yeah. how to be prepared to present his article. Okay. And so I hate to ask, but who's presenting that? You'll present that for us? Or? I suppose. Goes with the, Goes with the territory? Yeah. yeah. Down with the territory. Yeah, especially since but the next one's all the way to 46. Yeah. So. yeah it's <laughs> also, I mean, it's pretty straight. Our part of it's pretty straightforward, too, right? I mean, we're just taking, we're, we're, we're dropping a little bit out of the zoning bylaw. Right. Right. The board of selectmen. Because it's, it's the more there, right? There's really there. So. Okay. We yeah. have more heavy lifting on that. That's right. And so is there a, is, is it the same article or is it a different article, 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 article for that piece of it? It's it a. Must be a different article. It has to be two separate votes, I believe. I haven't looked at my work. I don't know for sure um, yeah, how the, the board really? they did them both settled down. Article? I don't know where they settled, but mm -hmm. um, I was at the meeting with board of selectmen when they were considering whether to do it as two two votes or. Hmm. Well, it has to be two votes yeah, because be two the votes zoning because bylaw amendment requires yeah. a two-thirds vote. The selectman's article, since it's part of the general bylaw, would only require a majority, which is it must be two articles. Yeah, that can't be the same line. Of no. two votes. I've never seen that before. Really? Except for maybe a budget. Yeah, yeah I was at the same meeting, and I can't remember them splitting that hmm. into two. All right. yeah. Well, not our. So, won't be. In the end, it's, it's going to be more on them than it is on us. So. I'm going to try to find out when. Yeah, that might be. Because especially if there's two votes, then maybe we should be coordinating. Because a bit more. when the Board of Selectmen's report is ready, you can see how they're oh, it's going down. breaking down that article. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. make a note to get that. You'll want that. You'll want that. was the other piece I told them, too, that. is that yeah. I knew that the Board of Selectmen had been uh, involved, and so that would be the other people that maybe you should. So the, when is that? Is that you said the twenty seventh? Yes, two weeks from today. Two weeks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that flies. Okay. 
Say two. All right. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, oh, I feel qualified to make this motion. Go for it. I, I move that uh, we adjourn. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you. Thanks.